All right, welcome back to AGD Civil War II. I'm Charles, and today we're going to take a look at how to do regional decisions in Civil War II. Um, this is actually a, a new feature um, compared to um, the original the original AGD's uh, American Civil War game. And what it allows you to do is to make very specific decisions on a region by region basis. Um, in the tutorial, it talks about they're basically optional. You, if you doing them doesn't make guarantee you to win the game. Doing more decisions is not necessarily, um, you know, going to be the best idea. There are costs, there are benefits, and it really just sort of depends on your situation. And of course, um, how much detail you you want to get in and, and look at these these types of things. So let's just kind of get a feel for what is available. Um, so to do that, you want to click on the cards up here at the top left. Um, and then below you have all these different regional decisions, things like um, you can plan a demonstration, you can proclaim martial law, um, you can get additional, additional con conscripts or a draft, you can get desperate for men, for instance, um, you can export, I'm just looking at one to export bells, you can build a road, put in a telegraph, there are many, many, many things here, some of them military, some of them economic, some of them having to do with loyalty. So one thing we can do is, let's say we're only interested in economic decisions. Um, you click on the, the little, little hand here, and then we click on economy. And then we can see, OK, actually, now we only have we're down, there are four economic decisions we can look at. And as I scroll through this, um, there are some of them where the color changes from reddish to green. And what that means is, um, just like recruitment, when it's green, it means you meet the cost requirements um, to, to put it in there and other various requirements. Um, so for example, this one under requisitions, um, on the positive, it's gonna give us $35,000. Um, so obviously we would use this when we're desperate for money and then um, the previous tutorial, whether you didn't use bonds and those other things, it wasn't enough or you choose to go to go this route to get them. Um, so, but to get that $35,000, we're going to give up some loyalty. We're going to give up some military control. We're going to pay a victory point, And we're going to uh, also pay two development points. Okay. And in addition to that cost, to have the option to do it, um, it says here, you have that city with at least 50% loyalty. Um, and the region must not be pillaged. Okay. And it, must be at least cleared for development level greater than 25. So there's some other requirements. They say, okay, you know what? We desperately need the money, or we think that this is a good way to get money. Um, you think, you know, upsetting our local, our, our people, our, our citizens. So I'm just going to drag the requisitions, and let's say I, I'm going to drag it on Manassas. What? Just pretend, okay, General Beauregard, he's here in Manassas, you know, and they need the money. Once we do that. Um, it, this little kind of, uh, circular basically drops in there. And then, uh, it also tells us that it's going to end in one turn. So in other words, this is a very, just in one turn, it will get us, they will get us the money. Um, now I can click on that and then click, or not actually you right click and then it goes away. So if you right click, it takes it away, but of course you can just bring it back. And I actually do want that, let's say. So I drop it in there. And let's look at one other one. Um, development. Let's say we also want to build a telegraph line. Um, so it's going to cost us some money, um, but we're already going to gain some victory points and some double points by doing that. So now I'll build it in, well, let's see. Can I build it there? Yeah, there it lets me build it. So. Um, you can't just build it anywhere. Maybe the other ones already had uh, telegraph lines, so that wasn't necessary. So, but here was, a, was a green was an option, so we dropped it in there. So I don't know exactly how many regional decisions there are. Um, I think it, it could be interesting, and so especially some of these, like when I see some, something like this, build uh, defensive works. You're talking about, like, you know, that's something that I would probably be interested in. Um, you know, especially if it's something that's a really high, high priority, um, high priority uh, to do, to do. Um, 
and then there are various costs and and requirements that uh, that are that are needed. Um, okay, so this is a little bit on regional decisions as you get in the game, kind of play around with them, take your time, you know, use a few one game, try to look at a few in others the other game, and I think you're gonna learn you know what can be um, what can be appropriate in the situation. Uh, all right, uh, this is Charles, and have a good night.